I'm joined by senior BJP leader Rajiv Pratap Rudi ji. Rudi ji, just the Supreme Court has said that the abrogation of Article 370, the centre was very much in its past to do it. It was a temporary provision. Well, it was in fact in a temporary provision, and it was the thought process of the Prime Minister, the government, and the country which decided that we have to get rid of it. And doing so in on in uh, in the year 2019, uh, the August of 2019, when the Article 370 was abrogated. It was a landmark decision. It was challenged in the courts, and today the Supreme Court, uh, the highest body under the Constitution of this country, has prevailed and decided that abrogation of Article 370 was correct, and the issue is settled for all. Also, the Supreme Court asking that election should be held in JNK by September the 30th, resurrected election commission. Also, implored the government to restore the statehood as early as possible. Well, that is a different issue altogether. For us today, it is the most important is that Supreme Court has put its final stamp on abrogation of Article 370. Which is indeed a landmark decision. Last four years, we've seen a lot of development in JNK. We've yes. seen Mr. Amit Shah, you know, develop, say a lot on it that you know the peace has returned to JNK. Well, the fact is, peace has returned. Development has ta taken place, and Kashmir is now India, and that is what Indians wanted. That it's a part of us, and I think you can see development uh, across Jammu Kashmir, administration, governance, and all those. Benefits which used to accrue for all the, all the Indians across the country was being deprived in Jammu and Kashmir, and now that is happening. So that is a miracle, and that is no one expected. And I think the decision of the Prime Minister, the decision of the Home Minister, and the government and the Parliament was fantastic. 